The biggest action figure blockbuster of the year, WSC WrestleMania goes Hollywood, and we are going to break down the full entire card right now. Starting off with breaking news, the Multiversal Championship will be on the line. The Fiend Bray Wyatt defends the title against the dead man, The Undertaker, in a Buried Alive match. The first ever Buried Alive match in WSC history. Back in 2019, these guys had a match for the WSC Hardcore Championship, and it was a Hoskin match in which The Fiend won, and then after the match he set it on fire. And then The Undertaker would then return a few weeks later in the Royal Rumble match, returning to get revenge on The Fiend, eliminating him and himself in the Royal Rumble. And then fast forward, now The Fiend has won the WSC Multiversal Championship. We all know The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, he likes to target his victims. He likes to target his opponents. At the Elimination Chamber, The Undertaker was attacked by The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and the Wyatt family, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, they attacked the Brothers of Destruction, cost them the WSC Hardcore Tag Team Championships. And then after a chaotic horror battle royal, go check that out if you haven't seen it yet, the Undertaker came out and attacked the Fiend Bray Wyatt, got his receipt and choke slammed him through the freaking ring, right through the ring, choke slammed him straight to hell. And now they will face off in a buried alive match. This should be fun. Then we got a WrestleMania dream match right here. The Beast Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold Steve Austin one on one. Two of wrestling's biggest badasses going at it. Stone Cold, I enlisted his help. I needed him to kind of be the sheriff around WSC, get things under control because things were getting out of hand. And he had a little Little run in with Brock Lesnar. He kind of screwed up messing with Brock Lesnar. Now Lesnar wants a piece of the rattlesnake and now it's gonna happen at WrestleMania one-on-one. -on -one. Who's coming out on top? Who is going to be the biggest badass here in WSC? We're gonna find out. Then we got the debut of the social media megastar Logan Paul going against the greatest of all time, John Cena one-on-one. -on -one. And after John Cena lost his Deadly Games qualifying match, he was devastated. He didn't know where he would be on WrestleMania, if he would even make it to WrestleMania on a match. And that was devastating for him. But then Logan Paul, Logan Paul debuted in WSC and he said, you know what? I'm stepping to the greatest of all time. He's diving in head first. He wants to challenge the best. He wants to make an impact by beating John Cena at WrestleMania on the biggest stage. And we'll see if he can do it. John Cena is not one to lay down and take that. He is not going to take the disrespect from Logan Paul. And he's going to teach him a lesson at WrestleMania. We're going to see just what Logan Paul is capable of. And we're going to see where John Cena goes from here. If he loses to Logan Paul, what's next for John Cena in WSC? He's looking to make that ascent. He said he wanted to go after the WSC Hardcore Championship, so if he does beat Logan Paul, that could be a step in the right direction. Also, make sure to stay to the end of the video to get the details on when WrestleMania is coming, how everything's going with setting it up. But next match, we got the Money in the Bank ladder match, and I'm a former Mr. Money in the Bank in WSC. I know just how game-changing this match can be, and this is a 10-man ladder match. Absolutely absolutely stacked. It's anyone's game. We've got Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Lashley, Braun Breaker, Kevin Owens, former Money in the Bank winner, AJ Styles, Edge, Drew McIntyre, Johnny Gargano, and Karrion Cross. This is WSC WrestleMania. We're going ham. 10 men. Anyone can win this. It's anyone's game. This should be a really exciting, fun ladder match. And I want to know down below, what's your prediction for this? Then we got one of the most anticipated matches of WrestleMania. It is Roman Reigns, the head of the table versus the most electrifying man in all of wrestling, The Rock. And this is the battle of the head of the table, the battle of generations. It's a family affair here. And The Rock, he came to WSC and it looked like he was here to congratulate Roman Reigns to, you know, celebrate with his family all the success they've been having in WSC. But Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns is threatened by The Rock. He's envious of The Rock. Rock is one of the most recognizable superstars on the planet, inside the ring and out. And Roman Reigns, he, he just felt like The Rock was coming in and taking his spotlight and he wanted to show him who's boss. He wants to be the head of the table. He believes he is the head of the table, but in order to be that, he needs to beat The Rock. And The Rock wants to teach Roman Reigns a lesson. He doesn't believe that he's ready for that position to be the head of the table, to be the head of WSC. And we're gonna find out at WrestleMania who the better man is. Then I find myself in a match at WrestleMania against CM Punk. 
and this match has very high stakes. If CM Punk wins, he's resigned to WSC. If I win and or if CM Punk wins, one of us is going to the main event of the Deadly Games for the WSC Hardcore Championship. And if you've been following this story, this is the most heated rivalry I would say on this WrestleMania. Me and CM Punk have legitimate beef. You know, there's been a lot of trash talk coming from CM Punk, a lot of disrespect towards me, and I didn't take kindly to it. I, I screwed him over in a match, and I tried to own up for my mistakes, and I tried to apologize, and he wasn't having it. And then we got into a brawl. I made maybe an impulsive decision. I fired him, and then he tried to make my life a living hell. And you know what? I wanted to settle this in a match one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. The, the thing of it all is he he said that I couldn't hang in the ring with him. And that is the thing that I want to prove to CM Punk at WrestleMania. I want to prove that I can go with the best. And, you know, win, lose, or draw, I want to earn CM Punk's respect. You know, he's been talking a lot of trash about me, talking down to me, saying I don't belong in the ring with someone like him. At the end of it all, I want to prove to him just how good I can be in that ring. So I want to prove how much I've dedicated to my training and we'll see who the better man is. You know, CM Punk is going to pay for all that he's done to me, all the sneak attacks, blooding me up at GCW with the steel knee, trying to run me over. He's a freaking maniac. We're going to settle it at WrestleMania. Then we got a brand new match announced here. The Usos, the longest reigning WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champions, will defend their championships against RK Bro, who were kind of screwed over by Solo Sokoa at the Elimination Chamber. D-Generation X, who have just reunited the greatest WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champions of all time, the first ever champions. And then a brand new team, the Alliance of Darby Allen and Willow the Wisp. Now, there's been alliance with Darby Allen, Sting, and the Hardy Boys, and now they've combined forces with Darby and Jeff Hardy, Willow the Wisp, the Alter Ego. Out of that group, the two most extreme superstars will compete in this for the Hardcore Championship, and this should be a car wreck in the absolute best way. This is going to be so much fun, and we will find out who is going to walk out as champions. Will the Usos somehow retain, or will we have brand new champions at WrestleMania? And now it's main event time, Deadly Games, the fifth ever Deadly Games to main event WrestleMania. We got the WSC Hardcore Champion. Will it be Roman Reigns or The Rock? If Roman loses, he will still be in this match as a challenger, but if The Rock wins, he will be the champion walking into this match. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Also, the mystery man, it's either me or CM Punk walking into this match. And let me tell you, I definitely am worried about entering this match this is one hell of a match the most dangerous match in wrestling history we got austin theory the future potential face of wsc for the future he's proclaimed it and we'll see what happens here at wrestlemania we got seth freaking rollins a former wsc hardcore champion looking to reclaim the title we got cody rhodes looking for his first championship in wsc and we got ricochet someone who was thrown off the top of the deadly games he knows what it's like to be in this match and ricochet he was seriously injured after this match and he he rehabbed he recovered and now he has made his way to the main event of wrestlemania looking to do the impossible looking to overcome his fears of being in this match and we'll see what happens in this incredible main event it is going to be absolutely insane and you never know what kind of surprises i'll have up my sleeve for this match you'll have to wait and see because it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting and this is gonna be way better produced you know other deadly games the arena you know you've seen like you know the ceiling and the walls and like the action figure collection on the shelves this arena is absolutely massive it goes up to the ceiling so you're gonna have a beautiful view of the deadly games it's gonna be fully enclosed it's gonna look beautiful it's gonna be the best produced deadly games and talking about you know, when WrestleMania is coming, I said the biggest blockbuster of the year, but, you know, the full show, I would say, is going to come out in 2023. It's going to take me a couple months. I would say definitely before WWE's WrestleMania, the full show would probably be out. I think I'll probably get, like, uh, three or four matches by the end of the year. I'm really just waiting on my designer to get me the designs for the stage and the arena and everything so I can get going on that. 
once I get that, I'd say like a week, maybe two to get the arena done. It's going to be absolutely insane. It's in a separate room to my normal arena. I will do a video on it, revealing everything. The most expensive action figure arena ever. Big investment going into this, but it's really a passion project for me. You know, it's not something that I needed to do. It's something I wanted to do for my fans, for myself. You know, I've seen so many action figure WrestleManias that honestly just didn't feel like WrestleMania. The budgets weren't there. The production was wasn't there and I I wanted to do one for myself I want to do one for my fans because you guys deserve an absolutely incredible show of Wrestlemania I've never done a show before so it'd be really really cool to do so so each match is gonna come out individually so I could you know because then I'll be not uploading for months and I don't want to do that so I want to upload each match individually you can choose to watch that or you can wait a couple months for the full show you can watch both but yeah, each match individually, then the full show will come out like a week after the Deadly Games main event comes out. And yeah, it should be about like two hours, maybe a little bit more depending on you know how things go. But it's going to be an incredible show, going to be really fun, banger after banger after banger. And yeah, this is gonna be great. Now I wanna hear from you guys. If you guys wanna make your own prediction videos on this WrestleMania, go ahead and do that now. You can do it on Instagram, you can do it on YouTube. I'd love to hear your predictions, what your thoughts are going into this WrestleMania. Comment down below any thoughts that you have. Please smash the like button if you're excited for WSC WrestleMania. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video.